just did the final walkthrough. I'm gonna go hand over the keys because as of tomorrow, this house has new owners. Lock the door for the very last time. Let's look back at where it all started with this project. What's going on guys, my name is Kerry and today I'm gonna to show you the entire process of how we went from here to here. If you're thinking about buying a new manufactured home and just wanna see how it all works from start to finish, you're in the right place. It all started with a phone call from the park manager and as soon as we went to see the location, we knew this was a project we wanted to take on. The home and lot were in rough shape, but being steps from the lake, we decided this would be the perfect spot to put a brand new home. Step one was to get the old home ready for shipping. On this project, that meant tearing down an old addition so the trucking company could come in and haul the old mobile away. We rented a dumpster and just started taking this addition apart piece by piece. After a few days and a bunch of dips in the lake, we had it torn down and we were ready to bring the trucking company in so they could haul the home away. Spending time here this week gave me lots of time to think about what I wanna put back in here and just seeing the vibe of this place, like everyone comes home after work, they grab their lawn chairs, they grab their paddle boards, they're in their bathing suits and they go down to the lake and spend time and hang out down there. Step two is removing the old house. We hired Tim from Three Sisters Transport to haul the old home away so we could prepare for the delivery of the new house we'd ordered. The new house we ordered was 16 feet by 66 feet long. Two bedroom, two bathroom. It was the same length as the house we took out, but two feet wider. He's probably wondering if I'm gonna get out of the way. Looks like he's got it. Is he by the stump? I think so. Is he by the fence? The guy better watch it. See, once it's down the middle of the road, look at how much space he takes up. out. He is out and in the clear. Boom. We're out of here. Okay, there it goes. Off into the sunset. Now we've got room for the new one that is ordered. Step three is preparing the lot for the new home and then having it delivered. If you ever get the chance to see a manufactured home moved in person, I would highly recommend you take it because it's really cool to see. If you don't, that's okay. I've got you covered in this next clip. Look at all the snow on the window at the back. Not ideal conditions today, but it's Friday and these guys want to get back to Alberta. So here we are. Look at that. This is going to be interesting. I don't know. I mean, they always end up getting it in the spot, but it's just a matter of how and how long. It's getting closer. Got the shot spot shoveled off over there. Sometimes they go in first shot, and sometimes, which I think is gonna be the case today, they need a little more wiggling. You know what? This might not be as bad as I thought. The house is kind of hanging over top of the neighbor's fence, which gives them a little bit more space uh, to push it back. So that's a huge bonus because he's been able to go back an extra 10 or so feet without having to move forward. As you can see, he's kind of in a tough spot up front. 
but not bad this might this might go quicker than I originally thought these guys definitely know what they're doing I think I'm gonna head over the other side again what a day to play in the snow Look at this. Holy, he's done it again, folks. Too easy. We need more snow. This was too quick. Crazy, I cannot believe that. It looked like it was gonna be such a uh, tight squeeze. I thought it would take him maybe unhooking, going back and forth. But here we are, pretty much first shot, Jason gets it onto the pad. I did not see that coming. The fourth and final step, now that the house is on site, is the actual setup of the house. This includes the blocking and leveling of the home. It includes the skirting, the power hookup, the sewer water gas hookup, and building any steps or decks to get up into the house. All told, this can take about a week, but could be faster and slower depending on the crew. This is a 16 foot wide, by 66 feet long, 1,056 square feet, two bedroom, two bathroom. So let's look at what we got going on here. We've got the sidewalk to the front door, four by four landing. We've got screen doors on both of the exterior doors. And we've got the gutters on, that's done by Cameron Exteriors out of Salmon Arm. Then on the back door, because we know people like spending time outside, we did a nice big 10 by 12 deck. Lots of room to barbecue, hang out, do all the things you do outside. Then at the back, we've got a little bit more space here. Not a lot in the back, but we've got the privacy fence up along Tronson Road. As I mentioned, this is a 16 foot wide home. And if you haven't been in a 16 wide before, you can absolutely notice the difference as soon as you walk inside between a 14 and a 16 or a 12 and a 16. The entire process can be extremely fast or take a bit of time. It really depends on a couple factors, mainly how busy the factory is. Start to finish this particular project took us about six months, which is longer than normal. But as of today, yesterday, by the time this airs, the new owners are living in their home. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.